Lakers, and welcome back to Anchor News. I'm Theo here with Nick and Drew. Hi, Lakers. Lakers. Thanks to all who participated in American Indigenous Involvement Week, and to Teresa Blasick, Tana Swanson, and Linda Weirdbauer for organizing it. Thanks to all the teachers who broke out their college gear and showed their school pride. Fall break is coming up fast from Wednesday the 22nd to Friday the 24th. It is going to be a five day weekend. Yearbooks are on sale. Scan this QR code to purchase yours. Senior picture deadline is no coming up quick. They must be submitted by November 30th. If you miss the deadline, your school photo will be used. Submit your senior photo using the QR code provided. Our weekly Friday themes have been going well. Check out these pics from Pajama Day on November 10th and Grout Fit on November 17th. Upcoming Friday themes for the first two weeks in December are Denim on December 1st and Mismatch on December 8th. The Siren is looking for poems, essays, short stories, drawings, paintings, graphic design, and more. Please use this QR code to make submissions. The Laker Locker will be opening this week. It's a store that's free for students to get their basic supplies, clothes, and other needs, including household items. So this is it. So you're here in the Laker Locker. It is our new kind of student store where you can come to get necessities, if there's things you're missing that you need, like snacks, um, hygiene products, clothes, winter gear. We're kind of, it's, it's here to serve the student population. The community kind of comes together to donate all these things, and they're here for our students who need it. I think the most important thing for students to know is that everything in here is free, um, and it's there is no um, questions asked. So um, if you are a student that uh, maybe forgot your sweatshirt at home um, and you have to walk home after school, like we got you, there are sweatshirts here. The space right here is called W105. And so um, throughout the day, um, before school and after school, if this um, door is open, students are welcome to just come on in and shop. During the week of the 13th, so this week, um, it is kind of a looking experience to get kids in, get kids excited so that they can see what's in here. And then next week, um, students will be open to shop. So that's what the Laker Locker is all about, is just helping and supporting our students here at Southwest High School. Yep. And it's still a work in progress. We're still building. We have an Amazon wish list that we'll soon be sharing out to kind of get what students need into the locker. The theater workshop will be December 1st. The workshops will be held in the Black Box Theater. The winter dance concert is on December 6th. Choreography is by dance companies 1, 2, and 3 and feature a, a wide variety of styles. Please join us for our annual Southwest at Orchestra Hall concert on Wednesday, December 13th at 7 p.m. at the Orchestra Hall in downtown Minneapolis. Pre-concert pre caroling by the Chamber Singers will begin at 6.30 in the gorgeous lobby, where you'll be serenaded while you're surrounded by the lights from the downtown skyline. The program will begin at 7 p.m. and will feature the Guitar Orchestra, Southwest Singers, Chamber Singers, Shock, Donna Jose, Chamber Orchestra, Wind on, and Wind Ensemble. Tickets are reserved online. Do you want to be part of the math team? They're now meeting in Mr. Town's room, W201, on Mondays after school. Both of the robotics teams, Ultraviolet and Cold-Blooded, are up and running. Ultraviolet showed both last year's robots, Nessie, and this year's robot, Monge, on October 14th in the Minnesota Robotics Invitational at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. The official season starts January 6th where they will surely compete at a high level. Good luck Ultraviolet and Code-Blooded. Code-Blooded wrote a grant and started a science fair at Wyndham Community School. They're also mentoring the FTC team, Infrared. Every Monday, the girls of Code-Blooded get together and lead the Girls in the Shop program at our school. They started this program to encourage women and non-binary people to learn various skills in a safe and motivating environment. Now for sports with Brooklyn, Abdirman, and Andrew. Hi Lakers! Sam Scott plays second in the state meet on November 4th. The girls swimming and diving section is on November 11th. 
Aaron Prentice so ran fast and qualified for all four events at state. The state meeting is this weekend and Aaron will be there. Congratulations, Aaron. Boys basketball charts are today, tomorrow, and Wednesday after school. <coughs> Wrestling also kicks off today, November 20th. Girls basketball, Minneapolis hockey, Southwest Nordic skiing, Apple skiing, boys swimming, and lots of other winter sports have started soon. Soon we'll have updates on games and meets. Stay tuned. That's it for sports. Back to you, anchors. Here's what students are doing over fall break. I have a class on pineapple carving, and I'm going to the Maldives. Um, I'm hosting Thanksgiving dinner. Well, this fall break, I will be giving thanks to my peers, my relatives, and my kids. I got I gotta go on my Thanksgiving little walk. You know what I mean? You know, cause you gotta enjoy the Thanksgiving. It's really nice outside. You feel the gig. Fall break. I'm gonna go probably down south with my family. I'm hanging out with my family. Some of my family is gonna have some dinner with me, and it's gonna be like Thanksgiving dinner. You know. That's this week's Anchor News. We hope you have a good time off for this long week. Bye, Bye Lakers! Lakers.